Welcome everyone, this is the uh, Depressed Eeyore, and this is PatchCon Defend the Library. This is a uh, Toho fan game that's essentially just a defense game, not exactly a tower defense game, though that option is available. This is just the extra menu, as you, as you can see there is a tower defense mode, but it's not exactly one. I haven't really tried it out though. Um, there's a bunch of options here that you can unlock. Uh, this is all controlled through the mouse with left click and right click. Um, as you probably saw from the intro, it's just... Um, Pacholi, the, uh, and generally has a, well, Marissa tends to, uh, steal books from Pachi's, uh, library. This is generally a, a common thing for the Toho, uh, setting. And Pachi had enough, so she made a bunch of dolls that were based off the, uh, other Toho characters. Unfortunately, she lost control of them, and now they're trying to steal, uh, her books, and she has to protect them by using more of those dolls. So, let's go ahead and do arcade mode. We're gonna do easy. This is just a little relaxing game to uh, show you guys, uh, to give myself a kind of a break between uh, Toho Soccer and uh, Conquest of Elysium. As you can see, um, you can pick, a, you get the choice of five characters, and um, if you click each of these, you'll get an entire team. Um, when you first start this game, you'll actually only have this team, and you'll unlock more of these as you beat the game on various difficulties. And then eventually you'll just get free select where you can just pick any characters from any team. So let's go ahead and just start with um, the very first team. I mean, this is just kind of an intro, and I'm a little bit more familiar with this team. Each of them have their own powers. That are that are there's their various types, their own abilities, and there's also a, like an upgrade system, much like tower defense. So let's go ahead and start this game. There, as you see, we're um, this is on uh, easy. On easy, they can only come from this side. So there's not very much to see here. On normal, th these corners will be unlocked. They'll be like past there, and then the book will be in the middle. And and the, the, there'll be like more t uh, spawners. This is where your uh, units will respawn, or um, where they'll appear when you first summon them. So like as you can see over here, we have our list of characters. If you click on each of them, you'll see how much they cost, how much they cost to upgrade, um, their abilities, uh, what type they are. As you can see, there's Damaku. Oh, it's actually kind of convenient. If you actually hold the mouse over it, it'll tell you stuff. Like uh, Sakuya, for example, is a Donmaku type, which means she uh, uses ranged attacks, which makes her strong against flying types, but uh, weak against melee. It has delay, um, chance of reducing the rate of fire and speed of an enemy. So if it's it's like a sl it, her attack has a chance to slow um, enemies' attack rates and stuff. So you got characters like uh, Apache as well, who has flight, who's a flight flying type, which gives her strength, strong, make her uh, strong against melee, but weak against Donmaku. And then of course melee, which is weak against flying and strong against Donmaku. So you got your types. Um, each of them have their own little unique abilities, like AOE shots, piercing, meaning it goes through the enemies, draining, gets uh, health back. As you can see, these all these heavy units have health, and they'll get they'll get killed over time. If they get killed, there's a timer, they'll appear here, they'll, uh, it decides how long it'll take them to respawn. So, um, other than that, you can just purchase units and have fun with them. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, we, as you can see here, it's, it'll tell you exactly uh, what unit is coming from what direction. There's Don Makus for our start. So what we want is some melee, oh uh, crap, yeah, melee. So let's go ahead and get some. There you go, that's, eight, we have eight of them, let's make it ten. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some Romelias. Because Romelias are awesome. There you go. Alright. You can double, you can click each of these characters and right click to make a move. Much like a uh, RTS. You can double click to select multiple of the same units. You can also click and drag and select them all. So there you go. I'm gonna click them up here. Uh, but the, the beginning, um, the uh, spawns don't start until I click start. I'm um, going ahead and reveal these. I have five cards. Um, these cards are all the spells I have through the entire uh, game for the, all the waves. I don't remember how, what, how many waves there are. So you got your uh, fire spell that uh, harms all the enemies on the screen to 50%. Uh, water spell greatly increases your protection rate. which What that means is it increases respawn rate of your uh, dolls. Very useful if you've got like, slaughtered by a certain type. Uh, wood spell increases attack and speed for your units for a, sh a short time. Uh, metal spell, which um, it uh, per it'll put a force field around this, these books, and so they get, don't get stolen. As you can see, books is right here. It's much like a tower defense. Then you have earth spell, which increases your defense of your units. 
Um, as you can tell, these are all based off elements, which is a thing for uh, Patchy. She's a uh, she's a uh, magician, so she specializes in all magic. Or at least that's her type of magician. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get this started. As you see, melee has to run up and attack. There we go. As you can see, they regenerate health health very slowly. All right, now we need some uh, these characters. As you buy more units, it costs more to upgrade. Um, when you upgrade, it affects all units. seconds for them to steal the books. We'll go ahead and go this way. Alright, what we need is her. The problem with uh, Amelia is she's very long range, so if they get too close, they'll uh, move backwards. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. The key here is to get as much, uh, get your units and then get your upgrades as much as possible. Need some more patches. Need to move you guys away. You guys up. So it's just, it's just a little casual game. I figured I'd just show you some other games that you guys might not know exist. <laughs> Our specialty is having AoE, but as you also upgrade uh, units, like for example here, if I upgrade her one more time, she gets the ability Bats, which I'll show off later. Alright, here we go, we got some bosses. now. She has bats, which uh, what it does is um, when she dies, uh, she spawns bats that just help you f uh, fight. Go ahead and get you get down here. And move you guys up here. units are just no good against flying, so I'm just slaughtering them with AoE. You guys down this way. Wait, patchy. There's also status effects, as you can see, um, you probably saw some purple bubbles above some of those characters, that was poison. Limits. Okay, reduces their chance of activating skills. Like, as you see, these guys are leveling up too. Okay, 
that's a uh, share building. Ah, that's right. Let's go ahead and get some Vermilions. Alondra has the same ability, so I'm just trying to get her up so she can uh, start summoning uh, bats as well. See, they turn into bats when they die. It's very helpful. She gets up. It's just, really, it's just trying to get the right types doing the paper, scissor, rock thing. If you follow that, it's usually pretty easy to keep up. But in later games, they start spawning really f uh, in harder difficulties, they tend to spawn really, really fast. So that's something to be careful about. So besides the four I lost because I was clicking the wrong buttons and stuff, I, I'm doing reasonably well. Oh, flight units, finally. Marissas are the final part, which these are Marissas, if you don't know Toho. 
Uh, they don't. They usually just ignore you and just go straight for the books. Oh, never mind. This wasn't the last one. I guess it was just a mini type boss thing. Not sure what units are here. Sorry, I clicked off, off the screen. You have any levels? No, you don't. It's down here. Sorry, frame rate issues. What wave on that? <laughs> it's a lot harder than the harder difficulties. So There's usually more waves, more units, and uh, they come from more directions. And there'll be like obstacles like this, and I'll shoot through walls, all sorts of nasty stuff. Most of them get up to three, eight, uh, three abilities if you get high enough, though it's rather expensive. There we go. And that's the end of it. Get your score, blah blah blah, it's usually in the millions because that's how Toho is. <laughs> I don't know if there's different endings for uh, what difficulties you beat it at. Don't really remember. So that's enough of that. All right, that was a, a brief, you know, showing of uh, PatchCon Defend the Library, a Toho fan game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was just it was a nice to have a little short break to play something else. Um, this was the Depress Eeyore, and I'll see you guys later.